Independent film is a complicated concept in mainland China, so it's almost more accurate to call independent films underground, because in a sense, these films that are not approved by the censorship board, not approved by the film bureau, are not legal. My name is Karen Chen, and I'm going to China for my company, Degenerate Films, which is a new distribution venture to bring Chinese independent films to the U.S. Degenerate refers to lowercase d and uppercase g. There is a history of naming filmmakers in China by their generations. Now we're in a phase of digital do-it-yourself filmmaking where there are a lot of really exciting young individuals who are directing films and producing them on a very, very scaled back, close to the ground approach. To be independent is a profound desire to be different from the other. Socially speaking, any power shouldn't force someone else to identify himself to the power. Uh, that's the political meaning of independence. You need to submit your finished film to the film bureau, and they do an artistic check and they do a technical check. And if you satisfy both, and they, they may ask you to make changes, um, but if you satisfy their criterion, then you're approved, and then you're given a permit for showing your films in the theaters. 那么，中国所有的独立电影，就是相对呃有一些知名度的独立电影吧，都出过 DVD 的。因为中国的 DVD 的管理是不受电影局的限制的，有一种非常好的互动，然后片子也得到很多的认同。我觉得这就是这个影展的一个很重要的意义吧。呃，当没有太多的渠道，其实包括我在内。So Nanjing is our first stop. It's where the China Independent Film Festival is held, and it's organized by Jiang Xianman, who's one of our consultants. So this trip is really about immersing us, degenerate films, into the independent film scene in China. And coming to Nanjing first is really an attempt to dive headfirst into that scene, to get to know how it works, what drives these filmmakers, how the underground film community functions. It's no secret that China is going through a tremendous amount of change. You know, we're really trying to find films which present a picture of life as it's lived in China today. Kind of build a bridge of understanding in some sense between China and the States.